Okay, we're on GIMP, and we're now going to have a go at drawing our text logo. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to New. We're going to make sure our width is set at 250, and our height is set at 80. That makes a reasonable size logo. I'm going to press OK. You can see we've now got um, our canvas here, and it's showing that it's a white background here. That's going to cause an issue, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Then we're going to go to Layer, and go to New Layer. We're going to make sure the width and height match the one we've just made, and it's got uh, transparency. And press OK on that. Transparency is selected here, and we're now going to go to Text and highlight the area we want. In here, we can change our font, so I'm going to change this to Garamond. So I start to type in GAR, and I can see Garamond comes up. I can use Garamond Bold. You can choose different ones. I'm going to write in the name of. <laughs> it's changed. Um, I'm going to write in the name of my uh, site here, or in this case, our team, but I'm going to just put uh, Dyson ICT, because it's an ICT lesson. I'm going to highlight our text, and I'm going to increase the size. And I'm basically looking to fill this space. We'll have a go at using an image one later, but this one's just text. I want to fill the space with my uh, text. Okay. There's an option here to change the font colour, so if I click on that one it should work, but sometimes it gets a little bit stuck here, in which case we may need to go over onto the left-hand side and choose the colours from over there. Um, I quite like the green. Let's just make it a bit darker or something. I would choose a pinkish colour. Press OK. It might show up, or I might still have to select it from across here. Press OK. So I've now got that to a reddish colour. If I want to select it again, I can, should be able to highlight parts of it. And again, I should be able to change parts. Very occasionally, it seems to get kind of stuck under the bit it's trying to work on. So for this bit, I'm going to go back to my green colour. I'm going to look to do the same thing here. Okay, so I've now got it as two colours. If I go to my Move tool over here, If I click on my Move tool here, you can see I'm selected now this uh, layer, which is Dyson ICT. That should have happened automatically because we've made it. I'm going to click on my text, and I'm going to pull it into the centre. I'm not worried about the overlap happening around it. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to let go. And what we should see is now this is more or less centred. I don't want the background anymore, so I'm going to click on the background, right-click, and I'm just going to delete that layer. It's not quite so easy to see now, but what you've got is you've got Dyson ICT in front of a transparency. And now we want to save this in two ways, basically. We're going to go File, Save, or Save As. Okay, now it's going to save as an XCF file. Now that's useful if we want to change it later, so it's a good way to save it, but it's not very useful for anything we're going to actually do with it. So, uh, I'll spell that right, always a good idea. And save that as Dyson ICT. We're going to press Save. And then I want to actually export this so I can use this in the work I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go File, I'm going to go to Export As. It's coming with Dice ICT because I gave it on the last name, which is fine. I want it to be a PNG file. It's coming up as a PNG file here, but if not, I could have selected it from there. I'm going to go to Export. Okay, and on here I want to make sure I'm saving the gamma. Okay, I'm going to press Export again. And what I now have is Dyson ICT saved as a PNG. And if we just have a look at this on my desktop, what you should see here now is you can see right the way through it. Um, and if I open this up, because it's opening in somewhere with no background, it shows as black. Now that's quite useful for putting onto le uh, letterhead or websites or anything else you want to. And what we'll have a look at next time is how we can use the transparency to add some logos on as well.